it's hard to say. Like, if, if you want my personal opinion, he just used a lot of uh, side Bs and neutral airs out of shield, which for Ness, neutral air out of shield is, is so good. It comes out quickly, it covers a lot, and he can kind of drift with it, so it's still difficult to punish anyway, so I'm not discrediting him or anything. I just think his playstyle is a little bit too uh, flowcharty for his own good. I'm sure someone that knew how to get around it would be able to punish him for it, but let's see if Clay Tito can do it himself. I, I couldn't anyway, that's why I'm here. <laughs> Hi. And we will move on to loser semis here at Kalos Pokemon League. Clay Tito versus Cyforce, Young Link versus Ness, who's already racked, Young Link's already racked up 30, 48% onto Ness's first stock. Oh, uh, you know, I will say, to his credit, he's able to recover easily with the uh, air dodges. Uh, like, in previous games, I would expect Ness to have to use PK Thunder 2 to recover, but in this one, if he's able to, he can just air dodge straight to the ledge, and it's much faster and throws you off. Like, you're expecting, oh, well, he has to use that slow, predictable up B-ish, but no, just like that, he's able to get back without any trouble. All right, and we have Ness at 108%, but he is juggling, was juggling Clay Tito. Got him up to 75%. Uh, was he juggling Clay Tito or was he just using an opportunity to pogo off the PK Thunder? Because look at this guy. He's got a commanding lead right now. It's almost like he actually knows what he's doing. Forward. Like, no, I don't care if I'm in there. I got you. Oh, with that, that was stab. a beautiful stab downward. We'll take Ness's first stock with 92% on Young Link. 106, a back air at the edge of a platform or the stage might kill, but Clay Tito's already racked up 49% onto Ness's second stock. Oh, oh, that up smash, yeah, he got me a lot with that in that set, so it's just something you gotta respect, man. I, That active hitbox on the charge, like, I think no other character in this game has that, so it's just difficult to get around it if you're on the same side that he's charging it like this. Well, that's not fair. Young Link has a tether, so it's like, just get over here. Well, Clay Tito's understanding that Cyforce is using that that up smash, and which has the hitbox on the yo-yo, and then grabs him because when Cyforce commits to the up smash, there's nothing more that he can do. And Clay Tito will take Cyforce's second stock with that down air and potentially could three stock Cyforce. If he does this right enough, we might see reruns of Sword in the Stone where he just basically puts the sword in him. The back throw from the other side of the stage will not kill. Huh. He almost had that up smash coverage. I don't know if he just acted too late or too early, maybe? But at least I see the potential. I like that he used the bat to throw the boomerang back and will finally take that stock at 182%. Cyforce has a long way to go if he wants to take this first game. Right, and Clay Tito has no reason to pick up the pace. Whatever he's doing, he just has to keep doing it until eventually Cyforce gets at a high enough percentage that any uh, stray hit from a weak aerial or a throw, it'll kill. Yeah, and so we see that Cyforce was, has been able to rack up a little bit of percentage, 99% so far. Gets a weak hit in there as punished for that PK Thunder. But right now, it's still in Clay Tito's favor. He's racked up enough percentage to where the aerials and the forward smashes will will kill at this point, and the back air will take Clay Tito's second stock. I don't know if that was just going to kill anyway or if uh, Clay Tito could have DI'd it better, but either way, it, he still got the game in his going at his pace, so... I Oh! Almost. Almost. Good air dodge coming out there from Side Force. Missing the grab and is punished for it with his life. I wonder if it was because, like, Young Link just kind of peeled back as he was uh, winding the boomerang up. Maybe that's why he missed his grabs. It's crazy how things can miss just because uh, characters have displacing hurt box, hurt box moves. Yeah, and Clay Tito will take that pretty cleanly over Cyforce, and we'll move on to game number two. Where do we go? Do we go to Battlefield if it's not banned? You know, I've seen so many people running it back, like, right away. Like, I let's get back into the game. I have a new strategy. I don't want to change the stage layout. I want to fight you. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what we're going to see. We're going to go back to Kalos for game number two, and Cyforce is going to hopefully adapt and see what he can do to counter 
play Tito's aggressive play, both with his projectiles and with his sword. All right. Both players trying to get the first uh, hit with the projectiles, but again, Young Link just has more uh, crap to throw out. That was a great aerial conversion combo there, using the forward air and the arrow to keep the momentum going, racking up close to 80% in that one combo string. Good stuff there coming from Clay Tito. Yeah. I can't believe how stationary Clay Tito has been. Like, he... Even when he does get the projectile hit, he's like, yeah, I'm just going to keep doing this. No reason to try and fish for any aerials or uh, any tilts, none of that. He's just an immovable object, if I had to word it in a certain manner. Had to oh, word... Oh, no. And Cyforce will SD use the PK Flash a little bit too late jumped and then I think went for an air dodge accidentally. Yeah, it was the air dodge. Like, even though... At, at this level, you still see people accidentally killing themselves. It's got to be the uh, nerves because at this point, there's no excuse. The game's been out for a month. What are you doing? Right, but a good yo-yo there from Cyforce will even out the stocks. Doesn't get the grab conversion and doesn't get the bat from the PK fire. Clay Tito double jumped out of it somehow, though the pillar didn't keep him in long enough. Is that at the SDIs? 74% though, so far on that stock. Clay Tito has a little bit of work to do to even out the percentages, but we've seen him do it before. He'll definitely do it again. Yeah. No reason to doubt otherwise now. Mm -hmm. PK oh. Fire connecting, doesn't connect into anything else though. Oh. Oh, and I'm missing the bat again. I don't think he needs to do it at this point. He's got him at a percent where he could just keep getting more damage and keep the safeness going on. Oh, oh no! Oof! That had to have just been a surprise because I don't think anyone was expecting that. It <laughs> was close. You thought that Claytito was safe, but in the end, that hitbox is just large enough that Claytito lost that stock. But at 108%, Ness is vulnerable to a lot of moves that Young Link can do. Just got to be Ooh. careful. Oh my god, he's still challenging this. Oh my god, it almost happened again. Well, good on him for at least to not get flustered. Or I don't know if that's just carelessness. But either way, Clay Tito's got to do something to bring this back. May yeah, that was something. Oh, all right, so I forced bouncing off the stage. I like that he's mixing up that recovery with that. That fourth throw will not kill yet. 168%. Yeah, like that air dodge. You think Ness would have to recover with the PK Thunder too, but apparently Cyforce knows the distance well enough that he's like, nah, I'm up here, fam. Yeah, and that down down air will take Cyforce's second stock. 69% on Clay Tito's last stock, though. It's anyone's game. If Clay Tito can get a good combo string, he can even it out. No, oh, okay. At least he's not so fraudulent to fall into the the neutral B, but at the same time, Cyforce almost seems like he's got Clay Tito's number. Like, look at this. He's just trying to bat the arrows away. Like, I know you're not going to do anything else. Bring him over here. Yes, I want you, not your arrows. And right now, has at 114%, Clay Tito's got to watch out not only for his aerials, but also the grabs. PK Thunder getting Clay Tito up Ooh. in the air, but barely missing the aerial. Is that back air going to do it? Yep. Back air from across the stage will take it. That back air is so strong on Ness. Yeah, well, what percent was he at? 130? I guess I shouldn't have doubted otherwise. One, I th yeah, 140 percent. I think we're well within the range. That even from the other side, you're just going to uh, get sent that way. He's going to get booped and taken off the stage. So we are going to go into game number three with 1-1. One, one. Cyforce versus Clay Tito. Oh, hey Ivan, is this a two out of three or three out of five? Is the best, best of five from now? Okay. Yeah, we place it in the money, boys. So it's got to test your endurance now with the three out of five. So we're in the third game, still feeling each other out, trying to get some strings going. It's still very even. Uh, the percentages have stayed pretty consistent throughout this entire set so far. And some good stuff there from both players as Platito takes a slight lead, 90%, but is off stage. 
and somehow gets back with little trouble. Yeah, and gets a down air even for his trouble. Cyforce using the air dodge to get back, but gets a forward air to the face and will lose his first stock. 82% on Clay Tito's first stock, however. Yep, this stock's not out of his grasp just yet. Not out of his grasp. Maybe a good smash attack or a PK Thunder will take it, but... A smash attack? Uh, I don't see it at this point. Both uh, players just jump around too much that you basically have to... I don't know, get a Hail Mary if you're going to get a raw a smash attack from either of these. Agreed, you're absolutely right. Clay Tito does get a grab into the up air conversion, has 50% on Ness's second stock. Makes it back, but doesn't punish the up smash. Alright, got him with the boomerang, not able to convert. What? What is this offstage play? I. Well, besides him getting hit by that up smash, Clay Tito knew that Cyforce was probably going to go for the up B cancel to get the second up B and punished him for attempting to do so. Got a read off it, but just didn't get the the right conversion to take the stock. But has 102% on his second stock, is still doing some pretty good work. Right. So again, still just trying to aim at where they're going to be, not necessarily where they're at. But the that Ford air killed off the top. I thought Callus was supposed to have like a tall ceiling. Am I wrong on that? I, well, you know, they do have those those dented or those veiled ceilings up at the very top. You would think so, but not enough apparently for Ness to survive. Clay Tito does have the stock advantage. Is he is he gonna be able to make it? No. He will. Yeah, he drift. Clay All Tito right. has some great drift with Young Link, but we will get another back air to the face and we'll even out the stock percentages. Cyforce doesn't get the aerial conversion though. Yeah, I think he just missed it because that should have been confirmed from a, what was that, down throw? I mm -hmm. don't have any reason to believe that Ness doesn't uh, get it for free. He had it in Smash 4, so what is this guy doing? Oh, another SD. Yeah, that, I don't think he even air dodged that time. It's like, what happened? Did he just not do the up B in time? Possibly. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. But Clay Tito will take that. And he will take game number three. Yeah, I mean, we, we take those, even though it just seemed like he just didn't do anything. It's a, it's a sad way to go out, but, I mean, it is what it is. We're here to play for money. And playing for money we are, and for PR points in Clay Tito's favor. I don't know if Cyforce is going to hang out here in Vegas for a while. I mean, but it would be nice to see some more talent, but I guess they need him back home, too, so that he can uh, whip his community into shape. I wonder actually how um, well he does in comparison to the rest of his scene. I would be interested to see. He does have some great potential and shows that he understands the game on a pretty good level and is able to hold his own with some of Vegas Smash's best. But right now we are going to move into game number four. Young Link Clay Tito does have the lead, 2-1 versus Cyforce. And ne we're going to an unorthodox stage. This was Cyforce's uh, pick, right? It was. The middle platform is definitely going to be an interesting change compared to the what we saw in Kalos. Let's see what Cyforce can do. He has to win this one if he wants to keep his tournament life alive. And Clay Tito has to win this one if he wants to fe face Ven in Losers Finals right after this. Yeah. It gets the up B right there. That's pretty cool. All right. Just pelting him away, even though he's got the middle of the stage. That won't stop Clay Tito anyway from taking control. Oh. Ooh. He uses the sword to clash with the yo-yo. I guess the yo-yo is weaker than the sword in this point. Or the sword is just that strong. Oh, all right, trying to fishtail with the PK Thunder. It doesn't get anything for it, though. But he doesn't get punished, so no harm, no foul, I suppose. Yeah, oh, there it is. Gets a bat. It's like, get, get that crap out of here. Let me see you face to face. I'm loving Clay Tito's use of the projectiles, getting Cyforce into a situation where he can get forward aired off stage and lose his first stock. Clay Tito does get punished for using, for whiffing that grab, though. Nair again. Great option from Ness. 
Well, all right, called him out with the back air, but not enough yet. But the down smash with the coverage. What could he have done? Nothing. Not much in that situation. You don't have a PK Thunder to cancel itself into. And the stocks will even out again with the percentages being pretty even too. Let's see if Claytito can get another combo string to take this stock quickly. Well, that's gotta be the first time I've seen Claytito uh, mess up with the boomerang in their face. Like you would think, oh, that's something you wanna use when you're far away, but I've seen him occasionally use it when he's close. I guess it's for that reason that you just saw, just to get the fair confirms. Mm hmm PK Thunder gets Claytito back onto stage. Cyforce at 84%. Claytito gets the grab, forward throw, will not kill yet. All right, excellent dash attack, just covering a good oh distance. Right. And the neutral air, just stick that stank foot out. It's too smelly. And get he out of here. Deal with it. I mean, I wouldn't either. You, do you know how much he's walked in those boots? Oh, okay, excellent. Just jumping out. I don't know if Cyforce was hoping for a shield break, but Claytito's not falling for any of it. Yeah, you definitely have to be careful against that yo-yo. You can get shield broken if you're not careful. But right now, Claytito has a pretty commanding lead of this game so far and is doing really well on Cyforce's counterpick. Yep. Wait, unfortunately for Cyforce, this might be the end unless he can do something like that because what can Claytito... Yep, no, he understood that after he got... He, he lost his second jump. It's like, nah, nah. There's only so much that you can do. I think since Ness was losing to the forward airs that he went to Yoshi's Island with those wider blast zones to attempt to live a little bit longer. But right now he's at 125% any smash attack and most arrows are gonna kill at this point. Has to be very careful if he wants to win this game. I mean, the tried and true forward air, it's gotten Claytito so many kills that I don't see him using anything else. Shield looking low, that arrow just barely missing the bat, grab. Uh, from so far away too. Ooh, okay, well he managed to absorb that, but looking pretty helpless off stage up until that moment. 161%, getting three arrows in a row. Clay Tito fishing for it and gets the down air. We'll take it over Cyforce 3-1 and we'll move on to losers finals against Ven. Right in the jugular. You're not gonna survive that. No, not at all. But still, great stuff there to Cyforce to represent and get really far into bracket, beating out some really good players yeah. throughout it. Good stuff to him. Like I, I, I gotta look at the bracket later and see like who fought who and who.